Two years into this pandemic roller coaster, how about some good news? And so you can see that we continue to see this steady decline in the number of cases occurring here in Colorado. Lowest case count in months, says state epidemiologist Dr. Rachel Herlihy. Additional good news um, as we look at our percent positivity data. Seven day positivity down to 6.8%. Similar good news when it comes to hospitalization numbers. We continue to see a clear um, decrease in the number of hospitalizations um, with COVID-19 in the state right now. Plus, state models guess 90% of Colorado is immune to Omicron right now, thanks to vaccinations and previous infections, even better than predicted a few weeks ago. It's great news. It's what we've been all hoping for for a long time. And Dr. Michelle Barron, Senior Medical Director of Infection Prevention for UC Health, says it's a sign we may be approaching the endemic phase. At least in Colorado, the fact that the immunity rates seem to be as high as they are, the rates are plummeting, that all kind of tells you we're headed that direction and there's nothing on the horizon. Now, could that change? Possibly. I think it's going to be less likely. The long, And certainly the longer we go without one of these big ups and downs, the more likely it is that we've reached a steady state. Public health policy is changing too. Colorado counties are ending their mask mandates and the state says schools can ease up on some quarantine soon and start responding to COVID like routine disease control. But there is one big asterisk to all of this. The big unknown continues to be the potential timing and characteristics of any future variants that um, could emerge. Jennifer Meckles, Nine News.